With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, we are given with the question and the question says, a 10 kg stone is suspended with a rope of breaking strength 30 kg per 30 kg weight. Right? The minimum time in which stone can be raised through a height of 10 meter. So, how, by how much amount we have to raise it? By 10 meters, right? So, starting from rest is what? So, how much amount of time will it take? Right? So, it's breaking strength is given. That is 30 kg weight. Right? So, what we can say is that the amount of force needed, the maximum amount of force we can apply is 30 kg into the weight 10 right so it would be equal to 300 newton right since it is of mass 10 kg here right so the maximum amount of acceleration acceleration would be equal to maximum amount of force divided by m the mass right so it would be 300 divided by 10, which is equal to 30 meter per second square, right? So we have this acceleration for the stone only, right? But there is acceleration due to gravity also, right? This is only for the stone. So we can write the subscript S here. So finally, we have the acceleration, right, with which we can lift it would be equal to A maximum of stone minus G. Because due to gravity, it would be pulled towards the earth, towards the surface, right? So that would be equal to 30 minus 10, which is equal to 20 meter per second square, right? So, using equation of motion, that is S equals to UT plus half AT square. Since what we are given is, it is starting from rest. What does that mean is, U is equal to 0. So, this is 0, right? So, from here, what we can say is that S would be equal to half A into T square, right? So, we have to raise it by uh, 10 meters to height of 10 meters, right? So, S would be 10 that is equal to half into acceleration is 20 into t square, right? So, t square would be equal to 1, which implies that time would be equal to 1 second, right? So, our answer would be option B, that is 1 second. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.